In order to memorize a deck of cards, you need to create an association with each card. There are four suits, and you want to separate them into categories. Hearts are family members, clubs are athletes, spades are teachers, and diamonds are Marvel characters. This is my personal categorization. Um, you can make it personal to you. And then with the numbers, you can do this how, however you want. Maybe a person reminds you of a number or is their favorite number. Or you can do a ranking system like ace or king is highest and two is the worst, something like that. And then with each card, you want to think of a person, action, object associated with it. For example, seven of clubs is Ronaldo um, kicking, a, kicking a soccer ball. So first I saw it was clubs, I knew it was athlete, and then Ronaldo kicking a soccer ball. Once you've gone through the whole deck and you have a strong um, connection uh, between each card, you know exactly what the image of the person action object is, um, you can start memorizing uh, three at a time where the first card is the person, second card, action, third card, object. In this case, Jack of Hearts is me, Six of Clubs is LeBron James dunking at the rim, so we'd use dunking. Four of Diamonds is Spider-Man spins a web, so web. So I'd imagine Noah dunking on a web, so it's strange, but the weirder it is, the more memorable uh, it is. So then you want to place this image in a location in your house. And my first location is my closet in my bedroom. And you want to kind of bridge this image with that location. So I'm going to maybe imagine there's a bunch of spider webs in my closet and I'm dunking. Um, there. So that's the first image. Then you move on to the second. In this case, it's my mom is manipulating computers. And for example, this one is totally unrealistic. It would never happen, but that's better to remember if it evokes um, emotions such as like, uh, it's funny or something. So you can associate this with your second location, which is in my case, my bed. Um, so that would be the second one. And what I do is I have four locations per room and then I go through each room in my house. And there's a total of 17 images and locations you need. So you actually don't need to memorize 52 cards. You're remembering 17 combinations of three cards and one extra one at the end. But this um, makes this abstract data, like nine of diamonds, ace of diamonds, two of spades, and it turns it into something that we can remember because we can remember images or pictures or memories. So it makes it easier to recall. And then, once you've memorized the entire deck, you can walk through each location in your house. So first, I look through my closet and I remember it's Noah, Jack of Hearts. Is dunking six of clubs on a web, four of diamonds. And then, oops. Um, next one is my bed. It's my mom, queen of hearts. Um, manipulating six of diamonds. A computer, seven of, heart, seven of hearts. Then you would keep going. So all you're memorizing is 17 images in your head at 17 locations. And that can 
translates to the cards.